Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to apply the iClon 7 motion file, what we call the iMotion and RL Motion, to any of the 3D avatar in your Autodesk Maya. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you have your Autodesk Maya, and you can see now I have an avatar that already fully rigged, already have the skeletons. We call this as a skeleton mesh. And we want to apply the iClon, the iClon motion files to this avatar. So I'm going to show you how to get this. All right, first you must export this out first. And the first you have to get the 3D exchange pipeline. So I, I export it from here, file export, export all. As demo, I will export it on my desktop and the file name, so I will put it as Asian Girl 01. Alright, I export it. It will become an FBX file. Sorry, I have to click File, Export, Export All. I have to select the FBX file, the FBX export, name it as Asian Girl 01. You must choose the FBX. Then you click Export All. It will export it as FBX file. Next, you open your 3D Exchange 7. To get this software, you can go to my video description through this link, Get 3D Exchange Pipeline. This is the iClone 3D Exchange 7. You drag in the FBX file into here. And wait for a while, now it is loading. You click OK to import the whole 3D models, included the skeletons. And next, and here, you drag down have to click convert to non-standard convert to non-standard avatar at here you have to plot everything if you double click this skeleton you can see this is the head so you plot it as the head and then you plot the neck start from the bottom this is the neck and click here to go up all right next you have to plot plot the arm plot the forearm and also plot the hand Next, all right, after you plot the hands, next, this is the left hand fingers. You have to click here, plot all the fingers, map all the fingers properly. You have to map it. Next is here, map it. Then the middle finger, have to map it properly. Now you left two fingers. You have to map it here as well. And then this is the last finger. All right. After you finish this, you have to map another hand as well. You click here, and then map the right hand. And then all the fingers, you have to map it as well. You click here, map the thumb, the thumb finger, and then map the index finger. Map the middle finger. Then you left two fingers. And now you left one finger. All right, next, you are going to plot the hip bone. The hip bone is at here. Plot the hip bone, the spine. And then you have two more spines to plot. You have to click here, start from the bottom, map to the bottom one. And you can skip the shoulder bones. Next, you are going to map the tight. Map the leg and map the foot here. Foot. Once you finish already, you take active and then click convert. Now it will become a non standard avatar in your iClone 7, a non standard character. What you need to do is just export it as export the geometry. 
As demo, I will export it on my desktop and click OK. Then click OK to export it as iClone Avatar, as iAvatar. It takes a few seconds to export it. Now it is an iAvatar successfully exported. Next, you have to come back to the iClone. In your iClone 7, you drag in the iAvatar. And maybe you feel that you want to fix the eyes at here. You also can fix here. The eyes is, you have to find out the texture. You right click copy and right click paste at here. It is going to generate the opacity map. And now the eyes also get fixed. You want to apply some of the iClone motion file as I shown in the cover. The iClone 7 motion files, we call it RL motions and iMotion, you are going to apply to that, that avatar and then send it back to, to your Autodesk Maya. So what can you do? You can just click here, go and find some motions here. For example, I want to find the Hades motions to perform some dances. And for example, dance grace, graceful. All right. Now you can just have a test. She can done already. Now, I want to send it back to Autodesk Maya I have to click here first to check it got how many frames here. Now, if I click here, fit to window, you can see actually the range is at here. If this animation is something that, that more than 1,800, you have to click the project and make the total frame, let's say, to become 3,000. All right, once it becomes 3,000 already, you fit again. Here, you click Fit to Windows. It will show that the total frame is 3,000 baht. Now the most important is the range. You drag the range to be at the point where it is exactly how many frames are there. So next, you are going to export it out, export just this range, export the animations, and send it back to Autodesk Maya. So what can you do is, just click here, File, Export. Export as FBX file. The target tool preset, you have to choose Maya. Once you choose Maya already, the export range, you have to choose a range. That is the range that you already selected there. There. Then you click Export. As demo, I will export it on my desktop. And I will just name it as Asian Girl 01 with Dance. This one is with animations. So now I export it. And then later I can send it back to the Maya. This is the one Asian Girl Zero One we've done. So now in, in your Autodesk Maya, if you start a new scene and you don't save this, then if you drag in the Asian Girl Zero One we've done, actually it will import together with the motions with the animation. Now I drag in already. Now you can see it already have certain posts. All right, now, if I click here to show all the texture, you can see the eyes texture also get fixed as well. And if I try to play, and the speed is wrong, so we can adjust it here. Wait, we have to see the total frame is, OK. The last frame is 1399. So here, we have to, to select 1399 here. So next, here also 1399. All right. Next, you try to play. It is a complete motion. At the same time, you have to choose the FPS. Usually, it, it is 30 FPS in iClone. All right. This is co the correct FPS. The total is 30 FPS. So now, this is the animation, 30 FPS. You can see this is the dance. All right. That's all. You already successfully import the iClone motion file into, into the Autodesk Maya and already apply in that avatar. And that's all for today about how to apply the iClone motion file to Autodesk Maya 3D avatar. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.